Oh, this is a tough situation for Vayne, isn't it? Come on, show her. <laughs> Don't let her escape. Get her, Pantheon. Flash auto. She's dead. She's just dead. <gasps> Come on. <laughs> well, that was hype. Alright, in any case, we're playing the Ezreal matchup. A very dynamic matchup into Misfortune. I really like it. Uh, very skill intensive, too. Oh, God, I missed the minion instantly. But uh, yeah, um, I told you I will abuse Lethality Eerie on my main account as long as it's hot, and that's exactly what we're doing right now. Keep procking those love taps to. Oh god, no, 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 no. Anyway, we need to hit level 2 here. Oh, they hit level 2 already, right? Okay, we got it as well. If you auto back off, you just hit and run, just hit and run. Try to get the farm as well. Elster early is not too strong. But yeah, this build is so crazy. Eerie also a perfect keystone right now. But I don't want to miss these minions. They're getting very awkward health values. Okay, we should be fine. Ezreal eats a left tap. So the key to winning against Ezreal is to play around his jump. When his jump is on cooldown, he's a sitting duck and you can ult him. Before that, you cannot ult him. So that's the one thing you need to keep in mind. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, you walked right into that one. Okay, we could have queued through a minion there. re him directly because that's unblockable. We need to watch our mana a little bit. They're pushing quite nicely. Oh, hit both of them. Crazy. Yeah, we were winning this lane super hard. Elsa has not a lot of HP. Yeah, we can freeze this for a while. Or, yeah, yeah, freeze, essentially. Especially if Ezreal keeps queuing from a distance. Because then the wave will never push out. Queue into the shield. It's whatever. Depending on how the game goes and how people itemize, I could see myself buying Serpent's Fang for my Lethality item here. We don't want the wave to crash, so I need to keep attacking it. Oh god, we're so screwed. I got a flash here. Well, tunnel vision. Punished instantly. Okay, no summoners, no potion for me. I took so much damage from this Kha'Zix. Need to dodge the tornado. I need every bit of health I can get. A jungle pressure can instantly swing the lane. It's so crazy. Come on, buddy. The wave is still frozen-ish. Which is kind of nice. They're trying to base here, so we better push, right? Ezreal needs this base. He needs this tier. Perfect. Elsa's push was very, very good. Okay, we can wait for the gold for... Um, Serrated Dark. We have just enough. It's perfect. By the way, in case you don't know the build... It makes use of the combo between Eclipse and Black Cleaver and Summon Eerie. So, Black Cleaver changes Eerie's damage type as it applies a slow uh, um, a stack of armor reduction. And this means Eerie counts towards Eclipse trigger. So one instance of damage, one auto attack, instantly triggers Eclipse because Eerie always connects. <clears throat> it's very strong and um, very flexible too. You can itemize against any threat. Edge of Knights, generally strong. But again, they have a Janna. Maybe they buy Shield Bows. Serpent's Fang doesn't look terrible. But yeah, we'll see how the game goes. We have a Serrated Dirk. Ezreal has his beloved Sheen. Okay, we... Oh, goodness. Lose a minion. Or two, because we're careless. But not this one. All right. Okay, we're looking good here. We have equal CS, pretty much. Ezreal might miss some now. But you want to be careful because we don't have summoners. 
Ah, I should have pressed W for that minion. Alright, Janna's here. Trading into Janna's shield 1v1. Not the best idea ever, but we don't want to let her freeze for, or hold the wave for free. Yeah, Ezreal now got his tier. Okay. Those Q autos smack right through her shield. You deal so much damage with Dark, Love Tap, Eerie, everything. Pushing against Ezreal is, generally speaking, a good move, because Ezreal can't really deal with that. His wave clear is very poor. Now it's a little bit better because he can spam more with tier. I'm 1v2 right now, I need to sit all the way back. Yeah, I, I can't touch the wave, it's impossible. Elsa just walked off to recall. <laughs> what on earth? Alright, looks like I'm sitting on the tower now. Can't do anything about this. We'll lose this minion too. Lose the cannon now. I might get dived. I need to be very careful. Okay, Elsa's back. At the very, very least. But this cost me so much. Come on, get him. Just get the Janna. Who cares? Well, then I get the wave, I guess. He knocked her out of my ult, but it's fine. She dies. And the wave's dead, so we get some platings. It was decent. Could have been worse, but could have been better coordinated. But that's solo queue for you. <laughs> that's just how it goes sometimes. One auto attack just to make sure we actually get the plating. Um, I don't love helping with Dragon because I would lose tempo and lane. But I think it's still the correct move, just in case Kha'Zix shows up. We don't want to give him any form of counterplay. Okay, because as you can see, the wave is now here, slow pushing towards me. Ezreal will appear any second. Yep, there he is. And I'm still sitting there. Not good. Anyway, I get my Warhammer. The faster I finish Eclipse, the better. So because Serrated Dark is such a strong component, you want to buy Eclipse plus a Dark. And then finish Black Cleaver before you decide what to do with that Dark you just bought. Um, so yeah, you have time to assess the situation. To see what the enemy are itemizing. Oh, this is there's a trap. We're getting dived, right? Okay, it's fine. We safely collect the wave. A lot of stuff going on top lane. Oh god, I cancelled my auto. Okay, ult's back up in 33. Vayne's dead, everyone else missing. Alistar roaming again, which is terrible. Okay, he's coming back, so I can maybe get this minion. Nope, too late. But I couldn't afford, uh, there, there was no way. Ooh, Ezreal, he walked right into that one. Even shield by Janna, right? Yeah, these Qs are starting to hurt, especially when they crit. Ellis are roaming again on a wave that pushes away from me. I hate it. Just stay with me, my friend. Let us play the lane. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Also, lifesteal starting to kick in now. Kha'Zix is definitely here. 100%. Yeah, look at that. Look at their positioning. They're so cheeky. You can tell Kha'Zix is right around the corner, right in this bush. Just from their body language. I will not touch this minion. If I do, I die. Okay, maybe he left, but he was for sure there. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, as you can see, now he decided to walk and move into our jungle instead. This wave is screwed. actually screwed. I can't touch it. I can't do anything. Elsa left me in the worst possible moments. 
Okay, luckily they're dumb and pushing towards me. They could they could just deny me. They could just stop me from playing the game at this point. But they decide to not do it. Get her. And I missed the cannon minion, of course. Ah, awkward. Maybe we can do something with Nocturne. Ezra is also out of mana here. Big test coming. Heal so Alistar gets sped up. Maybe that helps. Okay, the four man does, we live. That's good value. They used so many people, and they didn't get anything out of it, really. Come on, get the Janna, get the Ezreal. Get someone. Okay, Kha'Zix disengaging. I couldn't chase him because of stealth. Needed to stay in your minions to not get, you know, isolated. But that... That's target selection from my team. Very awkward. Anyway, it happens in the heat of the moment. Jenna was such a free kill, but no one jumped on her. That didn't have boots yet, so I couldn't walk really. Okay, one plating leave. I think that's the call. <clears throat> this is a close game. This Kha'Zix is dangerous. Maybe we just go Edge of Night after all, just for the extra safety. I wouldn't mind. Also, they don't have tanks, so I don't think we need black... Uh, we need... Screw it, I just get upgraded boots right now. I don't think we need the Cerildas Grudge in combination with Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver will be enough armor shred. We can just go more lethality instead. Maybe we go Edge of Night and then Serpent's Fang after. Should be very strong against Jenna. Oh. Alistair didn't dare to go back in, or maybe he didn't have the cooldowns ready, who knows. Okay, but now with Swifties, I should be able to pick off low health targets way more effectively. Unless they are minions, and <laughs> in that case I still miss them. <laughs> As you can see. Here we already 440 damage. That's more than these first strikes. That's more than Pantheon's PTA. That's more than any rune in the game. I'll just steal the wave. It's fine. Now I'll run. Because Ezreal with red buff is low-key scary. Anyway, with boots I'm relatively safe. It's not like they can easily catch me. Oh god, I got minion blocked. Okay, we just wait for the wave to come. If Ezreal wastes his jump, we kill him. Jump is on cooldown right now. When he jumps defensively, you can't punish, of course. When he jumps offensively, that's when you go all in with E plus R. Yeah, Janna can also no longer connect her tornado after the slow because of my slow resist. So much damage. Game's going nice. I really like our position. They're probably basing. Ezreal was so low HP. There's no doubt in my mind. Let's push in, so they're punished. I 
Yeah, they can't catch me on Swifties plus Eclipse. If he jumps, he's dead. I dare you. Okay, they, they don't do it because of teleports. I have to heal the Alistar. Huh. Right, maybe Akali had this without me, but better safe than sorry. For sure. Kha'Zix still dangerous. I don't want to base when Ezreal's still here. Don't want to give him free farm. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that generous. Okay, he wasted exhaust for this. Didn't get anything, really. Nocturne getting in position. Alistair ready for the flank. Ezreal's greedy. Look at his eyes. Okay, now we gotta be careful. Alright, there we go. I can't go close. If Kha'Zix touches me, I die. Or Victor, for that matter. Let's slow him down. Break his first strike. Yeah, we retreat. I have so much gold, too. I have enough mana for ults. Okay, I'll risk it, I'll risk it. There's a dragon on the line after all. Wait for Kha'Zix. I have enough for ER now. 180 mana, that's the... That's the value. Oh, goodness. That's very sketchy. I pulled the trigger. Didn't help. <laughs> My team was too weak. They all overstayed. We lose Dragon for this too, huh? Okay. So far, so good. I still have a little bit of fight left in me. Now I need to leave. Okay, Colleen Ace. Wow. <laughs> wow, Akali. I, I still recall. There's, there's no way. Actually, it's only Victor who's alive and he still needs his time. I will take one wave. Attack where they can't defend. That's misfortune on an adventure. Okay, now we gotta, now we gotta bail. Oof, spicy. Do we get it? Duck plus this. Upgrade trinkets. Okay, we're fine. <clears throat> Alright. Um, mid lane is the place to be, I guess. I don't have ults, but I'm still fairly strong. Oh god, how did he land that Q? <laughs> that was disgusting. Get him. Okay, Jenna used her flash at least, so it's fine. We get value. Plus we flank Ezreal and he dies. And Victor. So we can take mid lane tower. Make some crucial progress. Again, it's crazy how much agency this build has at every stage of the game. I've, oh god. I've overstepped. That's what I have. Teleport from there, Kha'Zix from there. Yeah, yeah, that was also stupid. 100% avoidable death. But here we are. Ah, okay. Okay, they got us there. Have to admit. 
We still have an 11 kills Akali there, so... We lose this tower, but this one should be salvageable. Okay. They're really going for Baron? I don't think so. <laughs> That's a mistake. Please, please go for it. That'd be a clean ace if they do, but they're not stupid enough. This is Haido. They are. They're not making those bronze mistakes. Come on, get him. You have a million dashes. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Got the cannon. Ult in three. Gotta stay in position though. Cannot let myself get caught and flanked again. We're a little bit passive with this Kindle Gem. We really want to upgrade to Black Cleaver as fast as possible. Okay, Nocturne. Ash, uh, not Ash. Vayne has a big team behind her. I'm not too confident in that. In that play. Oh god, they're in Baron. Ult from somewhat of a distance. Yeah, good enough for me. I traded for a lot of damage. It's fine. My team has this. Perfect. That's what I mean. They go for Baron, of course. As the AD carry, you're the first one to die for this. Because you're the main target for the enemy. But uh, we did our job. We covered the choke point with ults, dealt huge damage, killed Janna, forced them to disperse, and the team could clean up. Everything according to plan. 1050 damage from Eerie, and also the shields <laughs> to, to heal, if someone a heal triggers it. But yeah, that was a game-winning play, actually. Absolutely massive. Now we have a full black cleaver, makes us a little safer. We need to still add some more defenses. I really like Edge of Knights into Serpent's Fang for our next items. It's only a matter of time until Ash buys Shield Bow. Drake in 28, let's fix mid lane. Plus show Vayne who's boss. As you can see, 1E triggers Eclipse instantly. We just saw the interaction. Not if we don't land. Okay, she's dead. She's more than dead. Goodness. The audacity. Can you believe it? <laughs> In any case, we get an extra dragon, because it's 5 versus 3, essentially. Plus, we can siege with Baron buffs. Nice and easy. Just make the winning calls. <laughs> Get all the objectives, perfect. We can still pressure this tower. Okay. They need to respond to two inhibitors falling. Kazix behind us, gotta be careful. Can I stop this? Of course I can. Yeah, he's gone. I mean, all we need to do now, realistically, is push top lane, because we can take multiple towers there. I could base, but at the same time... What can I buy? Not much. A longsword, right? Yeah. So might as well not bother. In games in which you don't buy boots, it's... 
a little more convenient because you have all the item slots for all the components. But I mean, it's fine. Swifties are doing a lot of work against Janna. Gotta join the team. The team decided to push bot lane. We can take the inhibitor there. Sure, I get it. It's not optimal, but if the team makes the call, I follow, of course. Where are you going? Apparently, he's making a home run, huh? Disgusting mobility. Okay, let's go. And we make no progress. Had we just pushed top lane, we would have had two extra towers by now. But no. We're mid lane of all lanes, where we can't take anything. Oh well, let's brute force this inhibitor. At least we can do that. Okay, we get a tower. Not bad. Actually, not bad. Careful, everyone. Yeah, we heal him, so he lives. Actually, if they keep playing like this, we can finish. Unironically. Okay, this might be game. There we go, perfect. I'll take the free elo. Anyway, I'll play a lot of m lot more of this build in the near future, so stay tuned. And for more creative builds, click the link on your screen.